Hi friends! Welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany where I have new videos every week about books and the geeky mom lifestyle. In today's video I'm here with my cozy PJs and a cup of tea and we're going to be talking about my 21 most anticipated romance novels of 2021. This is going to be the first in an entire series of videos where you'll get 21 books for 2021 in a series of genres. But today we're going to be talking about romance. So I thought it would be fun because I've got new holiday PJs, you can't see them, but I've got cozy slippers and a cozy new fuzzy blanket and a mug of tea. So we're going to sit down and chat about some upcoming titles that look pretty great for next year. You're going to notice that this is heavily weighted to the earlier part of the year and a lot of that is just the fact that these are the books that we know about. I'm sure there will be other exciting books coming out as well. but. As of right now, these are the 21 romance novels for next year that I am most looking forward to. Okay, so I am going to start with the one book on this list that doesn't currently have a pub date, but it will be coming out next year, and that is Well Matched by Jen DeLuca. This is the third book in her series that is all centered around a renaissance fair. You guys might know Well Played, which was the first book in the series, was my favorite book of 2019. I didn't love the second book so much, but but I really enjoy the Ren Fair elements of it and I'm looking forward to seeing what we get from her in the third book. So that's the only one on this list that I don't have a date for yet. Also some of these may not have covers. I think most of them have covers. Yeah, most of these have covers but that one doesn't and I think a couple others might not. In January I just have one book that's currently on my list. That's The Ballad of Hattie Taylor by Susan Anderson. This one's coming out from Berkeley. I'll be honest the cover is what initially grabbed my attention. I have an arc of this on NetGalley and it's a western romance so it's set in the old west in the United States and it just it looked like it was gonna be fun. Okay Moving on, let's talk about February. I've got a bunch coming out in February. So first up on February 2nd is a YA romance. This might actually be the only YA romance on this list. I'm, I'm not sure about that, but it might be. It's called Love is a Revolution by Renee Watson. This one's coming out through Bloomsbury YA, and this is part romance, part coming of age story. I love the cover. Again, this is another one I have an ER of, so I'll be reading that. February 9th is going to be a big day, guys. I've got three anticipated titles coming out on February 9th. Wild Rain by Beverly Jenkins, which was originally going to come out this summer, but due to COVID, etc., got pushed back. Definitely looking forward to this. I love her historical romances. They're always just so smart and have great characters and you learn something interesting. And I think the main character in this, Rain, is the sister of the hero from Tempest, which is one of my favorite romances that I read in 2020. So definitely we'll be getting that one. February 9th we also are getting The Bride Bet by Tessa Dare. This is the next book in her Girl Meets Duke series. It might be the last book in the series if I'm not mistaken. I haven't looked in detail at what this one is about but I generally enjoy Tessa Dare. Even not so great Tessa Dares are still a good time so I'll for sure be reading that one. And then lastly we've got A Lady's Formula for Love by Elizabeth Everett. Yeah so this looks amazing. It's another historical romance. It's the first in a series, The Secret Scientists of London. I've got to say, I am kind of a shoo-in for any historical romances with lady scientists. That sounds great to me. This one has a brilliant noblewoman and her enigmatic protection officer with danger and attraction, humor and friendship, uh, a brilliant female scientist using her genius on a confidential mission for the crown. I mean, this just this sounds like so much fun, right? I'm, I'm definitely excited for that one. It's gonna be great. All right. Oh. What? Why do I have this on here twice? I definitely messed this up, guys. Something is wrong. <laughs> what did I do? For some reason, I have this one on my spreadsheet twice, and I don't know why. It is February 9th. You know what, there must be something else coming out in March that 
Okay, so we're just going to scroll through this because I, I don't know what's happening. Um, the next one I have on my list is First Comes Like by Alicia Rye. This is the third book in her Modern Love series. And this one has a hijabi and something about social media. It looked interesting. I still haven't read anything by Alicia Rye and I want to read from her. So that's for sure on my list. And uh, that one is coming out. One is, what is happening? Okay, that one is coming out February 16th. Okay, I think I know part of the problem. I think it, I, th I think my, my spreadsheet didn't fully update is, is part of the problem here. So another one I'm putting on this list because I think this is a fantasy romance. So I'm not putting it on my fantasy list because I don't think it belongs there. Um, but also coming out February 16th is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. This is the next A Court of book, but I you know, I'm, I'm going to read whatever she puts out probably. I, apparently she says this is her dirtiest book ever. So if that's what you like in your fantasy romance, <laughs> I heard her in an interview, but I just, I, I enjoy the joy of these. And this one is Nesta's book. So I would love to see Nesta have some joy in her life. She needs it. Uh, what else? Um, okay. February 20. Oh, yeah. Okay. So February 23rd, we've got the next book in the Union of the Rake series by Eva Lee. This one is Waiting for a Scot Like You. So we've got the Scotsman getting his girl in this. I, again, don't know too many details. I've loved both of the first two books in the series. And they're all books that are loosely based on 80s teen movies, which is just super fun. So I'll for sure be reading that one. I'm just a fan of the series at this point. Then moving on to March, we've got some exciting releases. One that I'm highly anticipating, and my friend Mara from Books Like Well already read an arc of this very early and said it's great, but this is Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. I think this might be the last installment in the Brown Sisters series. I've really enjoyed both of the other two. Talia is kind of an auto buy for me at this point, or at least an auto read for me, so I'll definitely be reading that one. Then March 16th, there's one that looks interesting coming out from Sarah Desai. This is called The Dating Plan. I have not read anything from her previously, but this one sounds up my alley. It's got fake fiancés, it's got fake fiancés. Daisy Patel is a software engineer, but her family and the hero is a venture capitalist. They don't really want to get married, so they have a fake engagement, which sounds great. I'm always a big fan of fake relationships and marriage of convenience plots. Okay, now let's see if we can figure out what went wrong with my spreadsheet, because something did. Oh, maybe it was this one? Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so something is wrong. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my spreadsheet. Sorry, guys. But then on March 30th, there are two other books coming out I'm excited for. The first one is called Duchess If You Dare, the first book in the Maidens of Mayhem series by Annabelle Bryant. This is another one that I just saw and it sounded super fun. It's a historical series about the Maidens of Mayhem. United by secrecy and sisterhood, these daring women from all walks of life aim to fight injustice wherever it takes them, even into the arms of unexpected love. In this one, a seamstress has disappeared and our heroine is searching London, trying to figure out what happened to her and ends up crossing paths with Ambrose Cross, the Duke of Aylesford. They're always, always Dukes, um, at an upscale brothel and I don't know. There's a tangled scheme and missing women. It's got a mystery plot to it. It looks like a good time. And then the other book coming out that day is Wild Child by Eloisa James. This is book six in the Wilds of Lindo Castle series. I've read, I think, almost all of the books in the series. There's only one I haven't read yet, and I just like them. They're not all-time favorites for me, but they're enjoyable, solid historical romances. So I'll be reading that one. Then, yeah, something is super wrong with my spreadsheet so we're just gonna ignore that and I'm just gonna go based on my <laughs> want to read shelf on Goodreads. So I think we're moving to a new month. I think this is April. No stop. Oh my gosh. All right we've got a couple of books coming out on April 6th. First up is One Thing Leads to a Lover by Susanna Craig. This is the second book in her Love and Let Spy series. I really enjoyed the first one. I, I Not everybody liked it as much as I did but I really enjoyed it and so I'm probably going to pick up the next one. I don't even know what this one's about but that's okay. Then we have To Love and to Loathe by Martha Waters. I had wanted to try this other book by her and hadn't gotten around to it but this one looks fun and I 
might, I think I requested a neck alley arc of this one. Right, so her debut was to Have and a Hoax, which I heard pretty good things about, and this one has a couple who are known for their sharp-tongued bickering, <laughs> and then they end up having a wager that either the guy is going to marry within a year, or he'll have to forfeit 100 pounds to the heroine, and, you know... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a good historical romantic comedy, if that sounds interesting. Then, what else do we have on here? Lots of sci-fi fantasy, not what we're talking about in this video. Oh, um, okay, so one that I will actually mention, because I think I might have accidentally not had 21 books on this list, so if I can fit this in, I will. But there's another YA romance that looks interesting. This is Misfit in Love by S.K. Ali. And I have loved both of the books I've read by S.K. Ali. This one is a sequel to Saints and Misfits, and I think it's a romantic comedy with a girl going to her brother's wedding. So that one probably will be great. She writes wonderful YA books with Muslim teen characters, and I just think they're great. <laughs> Then, surprise, surprise, of course this is on here, coming out in May, when in May? Uh, May 25th, we have How to Find a Princess by Alyssa Cole. This is book two in the Runaway Royal series. Book one is coming out December 1st. I will be reading it. I will be reading this one. We have a cover. The cover is gorgeous. This one is a female-female romance, which is exciting. We haven't gotten a full-length FF romance from her before. We have it as a novella, so I'm curious to see how that goes for a full-length book. Then, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yay! Mm-hmm. Yay. So many good, there's so many good books coming out. Um, June 15th, we have Isn't It Bromantic by Lissa K. Adams, the fourth installment in the Romance Book Club series. This one is with the Russian, if you've been reading the series, so I think it's gonna be fun. I, I have loved all three of the books in the series as well. That's an, kind of an auto-buy for me at this point. And then the same day, June 15th, we are getting Slow Burn by Olivia Dade, which is the sequel to Spoiler Alert. Again, we don't have a cover yet. I'm sure it's gonna be gorgeous when we get it. You better bet I'm gonna be reading this one. And then, do we have anything else? It's like, there's not much else later in the year. Okay, so then I think the last book that I have on this list is The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. This is the third book in her Kiss Quotient series, and this one was originally coming out in 2020, got pushed back to 2021. Another one I don't know too much about. I kind of, sometimes I like if I know the author and know enough about their writing style. I don't really wanna know too much, so I'm okay with that, but we have that one coming out in August. Will there be more? Yes, of course there will be more. There's always lots of romance, but those are the 21 romances that are on my radar that I am most anticipating for next year. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it was helpful, gave you some new things to put on your radar. I will have all of these books linked in the video description down below if you want to check them out. And I'm almost done with my tea. It's been nice hanging out with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this cozy video. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And for your question of the day, let me know what is one of your most anticipated romances for 2021. Is it something on this list? Is it something else that you know about that I don't, that you think I should know about? I will say because of my personal taste, this probably leans more heavily historical because I really enjoy historicals but some people don't. So talk to me in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.